I agree with you. He, I agree with you. We shouldn't blindly believe anything Hamas says. But why should we believe Correct. what your government says either? Your military spokesman on Monday pointed to an Arabic document in the basement of a Gaza hospital and claimed it was a guardian list on which every terrorist writes his name. But that was false. It was just a calendar with the days of the week on it. Your colleague in the prime minister's office, Ophir Gendelman, posted behind-the-scenes footage from a Lebanese short film and claimed it was Palestinians in Gaza faking their own injuries. That tweet is still up a week later. That is endless disinformation from your government, is it not? I disagree, and I think on the important issues. Look, I'll, I'll give you an example, Mehdi. No, no, Originally, no, no, no. we no, 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 estimated. No, no, answer question, your Mark. question. Allow me to answer your question. Okay. I'm answering your question directly, if you'll allow me. Uh, we originally said in the atrocious uh, uh, Hamas attack on our people on October 7th, we had the number at 1,400 casualties, and now we've revised that down to 1,200 because we understood that we had overestimated. We we made a mistake. There are actually bodies that were so badly burnt. We thought they were ours. In the end, apparently, they were uh, Hamas terrorists. What we're, uh, what we're, uh, when with we make a mistake, your, we admit it. Short on time, why does that them? give you permission? Why does that give you permission to accept Hamas's numbers? I don't understand. I, I didn't ask about Hamas's numbers. I said to you that your military no, but you were, you were quoting to me before your, Hamas numbers, Mehdi. You were quoting entire, to me Hamas's because numbers. The, because the entire UN and the human rights community and the American intelligence community on Friday said they trust those numbers. But you're dodging my question, Mark. I'm not why sure that's you, true. Why I'm did not your sure military that's true. spokesman on Monday point to a calendar in Arabic and say these are the names of terrorists on them? That's false. Can you accept that here and now? I, 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 I'm not aware of the, uh, the, the incident. Let's put up the so image. We have the image. You have I, no I comment. don't read Arabic. It doesn't help me. I have well, no comment. You, I'm, not, I'm not familiar with the does incident. Does your spokesman but, uh, you, Hang on, I have a question, Maddie. You're a journalist. Have you made a professional mistake ever? Not no, intentionally, but have you made a professional I'm, I'm, mistake? I'm, exactly, and I own up to it. Have so you made you ever? A mistake? So can, can, not, so can you own up to so, the mistake So now? if I made, if I've made mistakes, you've made mistakes, but there's a difference between making an honest mistake and between Hamas that deliberately exaggerates numbers Underst to suit its propaganda purposes. There's a huge Understood. difference. So it sounds like it's like it's, so, it sounds, so, so hold on, hold on. You said propaganda. Can we just deal with your colleague Ophir Gendelman's tweet? It's still up seven days later. Why has it not come down? It's a Lebanese short film. We can put it on screen. It's not Palestinians faking their own injuries. Can we own up to that mistake and take that down? Is that not propaganda? I, uh, uh, once again, I understand that that was also a mistake. And, so why is it still uh, up seven I'll days later? I'll speak to Offer about it, if you like. I'll speak to Offer about it, if you like. He's Great. a friend of mine okay. and a colleague. I quite like him. He's a good man.